Hi, my name is Jacqueline and I am a speech therapist with Great Speech. Today I'm going to record a video to discuss WH questions. And this video is really great for parents whose kids are really struggling with those pesky WH questions. So let's get into it. What are the WH questions? Um, today I'm gonna to talk about five. That's the who, what, where, when, and why questions. Now the what question is probably going to be the easiest for most kids. And that's because when you're parenting and your kids are growing up, you do a lot of the, um, what is that color? Or what does a cow say? And it helps for those kids to get ingrained in their memory. And for what questions, we're really looking for the answer to be an object or an action. Um, so what are they doing? They're jumping or what is that it's a crayon something like that now let's move on to the who question we're really looking for the answer to be a person um, that one's pretty straightforward pretty concrete then let's go to the next one which is where um, where questions we're looking for a place and those three are the easiest for kids to learn um, the what the who and the where the when and the why WH questions are a little bit trickier for kids, and that's because for when, the answer is going to be a time, and time is measured in many different ways. So there can be a time of the day, um, you can have time of the hour, you can measure time, time of the year. So there's different ways to measure time, and that can be more confusing for kids. And the trickiest of all of those is probably the why question. And that's because the why question, you're looking for an explanation in the answer. And it often starts with the word because, and um, it's very abstract of an answer. So it's more difficult for kids to grasp. So if you are teaching your kids these, I would recommend starting with the what, um, and then the who, and the where, and then the when and the why as the last questions. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tricks and tips that I use personally when I'm trying to cue the kids into giving me the correct answer and how to sort of guide them into understanding um, what they mean. So these tips I use for all five WH questions and you can use them as well. So let's start with the what. Um, and again, these apply to all five of the WH questions. So for what, if I'm holding like a pen and I say, what is this? And then the kids don't answer or um, they answer incorrectly. Then one of the first things I do is give them like a very nonsense um, answer to bounce off of. So I'll say, is this an eraser? And you know, a lot of them will say no, some of them will say yes, and you're like, like, that's silly, this isn't an eraser. What is this? And they know it's not an eraser, and so they you're giving them the idea that you're looking for a name of something because they know it's not an eraser, right? And then you can go give them options. You can say, if they're really struggling, you can say, is this an eraser or is this a pen? Because you just told them it wasn't an eraser, they should know that it is a pen. If you want it to be a little bit harder, you can say, um, is this a pen or is this a pencil? Right, and then they have to decide between the two. Um, and that's sort of the, the way that I structure my cues for them. Another really great method for WH questions and really all aspects of language development for kids is doing this during playtime um, and doing it potentially with a book as well, because books give you those visual cues that, that a lot of kids need. Um, and I recommend doing this at a time of day where they're playing, because you don't want them to be really stressed out and get really angry at you for always prompting them and prompting them and working them really hard. Um, another great tip is to find some praise to give them in the middle. So for example, if they're doing a if we're going to ask them a where question and let's say um, the mom or, or the mom is sitting on the couch dad can say hey where's mom and if the kid goes she's in the couch 
right? We know she's not in the couch, she's on the couch, but we're not going to dismiss it because they use the wrong preposition. We'll say, that's great, that's right, mom is on the couch. Where's mom? She's on the couch. And if you reiterate that question too, that can help them link between the question and the answer. So you really wanna focus on the WH questions and just praising them for getting at least part of it right, then disciplining them for getting you know, some of it wrong. And I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video to be helpful. And stay tuned because I will be making a couple more videos about language.